If you're a Galaxy S25 user, there's a new update rolling out this week that you'll definitely want to know about. After debuting in South Korea, according to Terran Vats on X, it's now making its way to Australia, with more regions expected to follow soon. So what's new in this update? First off, we're getting a pretty cool addition. Media playback controls are now accessible directly from the now bar and the notification shade. This is a feature that was available on older Galaxy devices after they were updated to One UI 7, but it wasn't available on devices like the Galaxy S25 series when it launched with One UI 7 out of the box. Here's how it works. When media is playing in an app, you'll see a live notification in the now bar at the top left of the screen. Just tap it, and it'll bring up a small pop-up with the media controls, making it super easy to pause, play, or skip tracks. And that's not all. Media playback can now also be controlled from the notification shade. Previously, the Galaxy S25 only showed the media widget in the quick settings panel, so this update really expands your control options. You'll also notice an improved charging animation, which is a nice touch. Plus, there are some general stability improvements, and the update includes the April 2025 security patch as well. You can identify this update by the build number ending in AWD9. To grab it, just head over to your settings app, go to software update, and hit download and install. And by the way, if you haven't already checked out One UI 8 running on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, make sure to catch my video on it. I'll go over everything the first major OS upgrade will bring, or won't bring, to the Galaxy S25 lineup. Let me know in the comments if you've received this update yet, and how it's working for you. Today, we're diving into one of the coolest new features in Samsung's One UI 7, the ability to change the size of app icons on your home screen and app drawer. This is a great addition that gives you even more control over how your phone looks and feels, and the best part, it's super easy to do. No need for good lock or any extra apps, this feature is built directly into One UI 7's home screen customization menu. So let's take a quick look at how you can make it happen on your One UI 7 Galaxy device. First, all you need to do is pinch on your home screen to bring up the customization options. Once you do that, tap the cog icon to access the settings menu. You'll see a slider to adjust the app icon size. You can move the slider left or right to choose between three different levels. By default, the medium size is selected. Now here's an important thing to keep in mind. You can't change the size of app icons separately on the home screen and app drawer. This slider affects all the icons across your device, whether they're on the home screen or in the app drawer. Another awesome thing about this feature is that it doesn't mess with your layout. Changing the icon size won't shuffle your icons around. They'll stay neatly arranged in the grid setting you use, whether you go for small or large icons. And that's not all. One UI 7 has a ton of other visual upgrades and enhancements, so stay tuned for more tips and tricks. Oh, and just in case you missed it, One UI 7 also brings landscape home screens that look way better than in previous versions. So are you planning to give this app icon size feature a try? Let me know in the comments below. 